know you're out there. What the hell? We having a stroke or something? No, bud. I'm trying to attract birds of prey. What the hell kind of sound are you making? It's the sound of a distressed rabbit. When I was a hunter, I'd make this sound to lure out wolves, lions, eagles. Any predator might fancy a bit of rabbit for dinner. Won't do you much good these days. There aren't many animals left. For now? Do you know why that is? The virus? Indirectly. Animals didn't become infected the way people did. But the virus did disrupt the food chain. Panicked humans, worried about running out of food, killed and ate pretty much everything they could, with no thought to the future. They devastated the populations of the usual game. Rabbits, chicken, turkeys and such, then mice and rats and parakeets, anything that couldn't escape. Food became scarce for the larger predators, like wolves and hawks. Eventually, they starved or left to search for food elsewhere. And thus did the animals disappear, especially in urban areas with high concentrations of voracious humans. Forget about the infected. How does screeching like that help? You see, if I manage to attract a bird of prey, it's a sign. A sign the food chain might be on the mend. One bird likely means two. A healthy bird means it's feeding. A well-fed bird might signal the return of the rabbits. Rabbits feed wolves and other animals as well. So, you see... I do. What kind of help will they need? Mating pairs must be found be they hawks or rabbits, and they must be bred like man has done throughout time. There are plenty of men and women who would protect man's future by protecting the animals of this earth. Were I to find a nesting pair of birds or a rabbit with kittens, I would guard them with my life. You sound more like a farmer than a hunter. <sighs> oh, I assure you, I still hunt. Crow, since they're so plentiful, Infected for sport, and... And? And anyone who tried to fuck with my animals. Here, take this. Hopefully you'll help the animals return as well. Thanks. You really got me thinking. Thank you. 
on, you there? Go on. I guess I'll look around. Carl won't perform weddings anymore. Though they say for the right price. Aiden, you've been around a while. You're practically one of us now. Watch yourself, you hear? And, and then all of a sudden, everything. So if the power of the street comes, it all lit up like some goddamn carnival. But then it went out. Who gives a fuck about Luan? The lights are on! Telling you. So you I have no... Like I'm sorry, have you seen Luan? Can't you see we're having a conversation? So you're a peacekeeper, huh? Yes, but as I say, no one knows who turned on the lights. And when it'll come back in other neighborhoods. Please, be patient. We're doing all we can to figure this out. I'm just looking for a friend. Lawan, you sure you know what to do if you catch that tiger by the tail? Anyhow, she's probably out in the field somewhere, but you can ask at the bar. Where are the peacekeepers when we need them? Now that we've got the light, about time you finally do something about the fucking streets. Make them safer. The streets won't be safe until we believe. Hey. Looking for Lawan? You know I can find her? She was just here. Boo! Still didn't break your neck? Good. This him? The gajo you were talking about? Damn you are. I've heard a lot about you. Huh. Haven't heard a thing about you at all. Do we have to see Frank? To Kandano, Rocky Ressa Aja, Obchindwe Chibiasa. That's all, jackass. What are you talking about? That Levant friends are my friends. Daniel says that to get the power flowing, we have to reactivate the other substations. on, but the cables couldn't take it. Fifteen years took a toll. Atrophy musculare means juite. Untrained muscles wither. Come on, Frank's room is over there. Let's figure out why Waltz turned it on in the first place. Good talk, Gajo. Better watch your back. You have somewhere to be. Aiden, know anything about this Night Runner thing? going one thing about Frank do you see these people anywhere else they'd be savages at each other's throats but not here here they stay calm cool and collected cuz of Frank they respect him because he was a night runner everyone here owes him something including me if it wasn't for Frank I wouldn't be here and where would you be in a dark zone as a biter or in some den, high and about to get higher. Frank will help us. You can rely on him too. Trust me. Ready? Let's go. Frank! They slaughtered us. One by one like fucking rabbits. Frank? Frank, it's me. Wake up! You? What the fuck you doing here? Interrupting my conversation with... Ravik's been dead for years, Frank. Pull yourself together. You got a visitor. And who's that? Queen of fucking England? 
I gotta act old Danny now. This is Aiden. He has the GRE access key. Waltz used it to turn on the electricity in town. Working GRE key? You're full of shit. Show it to him. Where'd you get it? Uh, from one of Waltz's men. So you want a Waltz's men too? Hey, easy, Frank. Aiden is on our side. We think this contains data proving what they did to us in the hospital. Uh, so you still believe you'll find out why Waltz fucked up your childhood? Okay, I'll tell you. Ready? Uh, yeah, because he's a fucking psycho. He's fucked in the head. That's your holy grail and Ark of the Covenant all in one, Loan. Happy? Aiden, right? You and Loan can get the fuck out of my face now. I got more important things in my mind. <sighs> worked if that fucker had showed up at the TV station. You were right, Ravik. Fucking traitor. Without him, we were like kids with slingshots going up against tanks. We're not finished here, Frank. This contains info on someone I'm looking for, too. I need to know how to read it. It's a fucking key, not a diary. You can use it to open doors, start the electricity, but it's useless on its own. You need some place to stick it. And before I tell you where you can stick it, get out! You're giving me a fucking headache! Ravik, you fucking bastard. Why did you come back for this mission? Everything went wrong. So many people. So many wonderful people. Luan says only you can help us. Luan tends to run at the mouth. And you know what? It's mostly bullshit. She's a junkie I picked up from the street. Understand? You don't believe me, ask her. She'll tell you everything herself. So what the fuck if we got to that floor? We were in a pile of shit. Not even close. Maybe this tower is not being won and will not be won. You understand? We're all gonna fucking die, and then it'll be cool. You'll shut up, too. I didn't come this far to let you blow me off like this, Frank. You came all this way to talk to little old me? Well, laddie fucking daw. Congratulations. You're a bigger loser than I am. Now get the fuck out of here already. See? This Revik, he can't piss me off almost as much as you. Shut up! That doesn't mean you can talk! Fuck, Revik! Stop making excuses for this traitor! Denying what's happened! Frank, damn it! Come back! Fuck off, kid. And while you're fucking off, take Luan with you. I'm done! Luan, it seems we're done here. Come on, let's go. <sighs> Waltz turned the power on with this key for the first time in years. And I doubt he did that out of the kindness of his heart. And you don't give a fuck? Frank, get your shit together. You were a legend. Fucking commander of the Night Runners. Do you even remember that? That Frank is dead, Luan. He died with the others at the TV station. Why the fuck would Waltz turn on the power? Don't ask me. I don't have a clue. But if you're looking for the GRE database, you need to find a terminal to access it. The thing is, I... I have no idea where one could be. And those who knew are... probably long dead. But... the good news is we'll probably be dead ourselves soon enough. Cheers. Now, get the fuck out of my quarters. <laughs> Fucking drunkard. You hear that? Fuck, something's happening. Will you check? 
I'm right behind you. To all units, renegades are in the central loop. I repeat, renegades are in the center. They're surrounding the fisheye. Can anyone hear me? Over. Was close. Aiden, more renegades on the lower level. One, two, 
Drop him. One move and he dies. Drop him. Aiden, what? <laughs> Everyone all right? Check who needs help and bring in some medics. And make sure there's no more of those fucking renegades in the area. Yes, Commander. You, you all right, boy? Jack, man. Come on, Frank. You all right? I saw you fight. What's your name? Aiden. If it weren't for you, a lot more would be dead. Come on, boys. Search the area. Sir, I have a question. We're looking for a GRE database. Most GRE equipment has been dead for years. What do you need this database for? With your knowledge of the city, you know GRE places inside out. Aiden and I need to find this database. Will you help us? Luan, he's your friend. <laughs> Aiden? You could say that. I've never heard of you, Aiden. Where are you from? I'm a pilgrim. I came from outside the walls. So you've seen a lot. You probably came through old Villador too, right? All right, what do you want to know? A lot has been going on there lately. We lost our commander, and the Bazarians tried to cut off our power source. They say most of our people have been killed, either by the infected or by those from the Bazaar. I also lost contact with the new commander, Aitor, and his unit. Know anything about them? We found Waltz, but he overpowered us and escaped. What? Where? In the tunnels, near the car plant. Waltz decimated Ader's squad. I barely managed to escape. I shouldn't have left them like this. We need to find out what's going on there. As for the GRE equipment you're asking about, you can ask Lieutenant Rowe. If something's working, he'll know about it. Lately, he and his unit have been securing the Culver Island and New Dawn Park areas. But because of the Butcher's raid, we had to go radio silent. So you have to look for him yourselves. If you find him, give him these. What are they? Orders. For him and the other units. Move it, boys. Let's go. Come outside. Let's talk. Somebody's got to take care of the butcher for good. I tell you, Matt is not doing well these days. He cut the briefing short. Yesterday, he looked like he'd been vomiting. Where did you learn to fight like that? Where? On the road? As a pilgrim? I had no other choice. On the road? <laughs> Don't you wonder sometimes what they gave us to make us like this? Stronger? Rather, fucked in the head. But yeah, fucked up and stronger. Maybe I'll figure that out when I find Mia. What's next? Well, you heard it yourself. Ro might know where you can access that damn database. Here, take these orders to him. Just don't lose them, or Jack will gut me. What about you? I'll join you. But first, I have to see Frank. You saw him. He's barely holding it together. What about this Roe guy? You know him? Roe? Too fucking well I do. He's a great commander. And a fucking hothead. For some reason, people say we have a lot in common. Once, Jack sent his squad to a spot that turned out to be a dark zone. People panicked, and they probably wouldn't have made it out of there. But Roe kept his cool makes them all back out and suddenly starts banging a stick on some barrels, attracting the motherfuckers. It was a suicidal plan. But the vital thing was, it was a plan. 
That's what makes soldiers think clear again. If the Night Runner still existed, Frank would have recruited him for sure. So, uh, Frank, he's not exactly the most reliable source of help. You don't know what you're talking about. He was a Night Runner. Even though these days, he can't even say the name properly when he's drunk. Aren't the Night Runners ancient history? History can repeat itself. For good and for bad. Legends can't. Say what you want. I believe that when the time comes, if the time comes, Frank will rise to the occasion. Who knows? Maybe he'll even invite me to join the club. And Jack, the commander. Do you trust him? Jack Matt? He's a smart guy, but a bit of a narcissist. What do you mean? Well, he's only a major, but refers to himself as commander-in-chief. But he gave us Rose location and a chance to find the GRE terminal. I don't care about the rest. Okay. Good. Start with Culvert Island. The PK have an outpost there. Hey, Luan. You should know that in Old Villador, I... I came into conflict with Ader. I blew up the Peacekeeper's windmill, and we really don't like each other. <laughs> Are you afraid they'll figure out what you've done? Didn't you hear what Jack was saying? Take it easy. Nobody has contact with Old Villador here. And even if there was someone, by that time, we'll have already found what we're looking for. And stay on the radio all the time. Sure thing, partner. Goddamn renegades attacking the canteen now. Are we really gonna win this war? Darling. Hey, you! Wait for the report to dispatch. We need all hands on deck. Thank <laughs> you. 
Go on. I'm nearing Culvert Island. Great. Frank sorted out, so I'm on my way. If you get Ro to tell you where the terminal is, let me know. You'll find your sister. I'll find the missing names vassal for my kill list. Everyone will be happy. Except the people you shoot. They won't be in any condition to care.
this time. This will bring trouble for sure. I'm looking for the lieutenant. Got orders from Matt. Matt? You're not PK. Does it matter? He gave them to me, and here I am delivering them. Hey, steady. Let's call someone and clear this up, okay? Hey, you there? Don't move a muscle. For all I know, you're a renegade with bogus orders. Wait, I recognize his voice. Bart? Loan. Loan, is that you? He's with me, Bart. Let him in or I'll kick your ass from Sunday. Lawan, Lawan, what's going on here? Look, Matt sent Aiden there because all his men are tied up. Matt's orders, Bart, let him through. The lieutenant's there. Apologies. You're just doing your job. for the lieutenant. Wrong address, darling. Can't you see I'm a grunt? Now, the lieutenant is over there. And thanks for the intel, darling. Lieutenant Rowe, I have orders from the commander. I ain't Rowe. He went off with a squad to New Dawn Park. 
I'm Lieutenant Grady. Great. Guess I gotta keep going. What are you talking about? Show me those orders, son. I was supposed to give them directly to Roe. And I'm Roe when Roe's not here. It's called chain of command. Give them. What the hell? Did the commander say why we're being pulled back to center? He didn't seem too eager to explain anything to me. I'm just the messenger. Okay, boys, time to pack it in. Command's ordered us to withdraw. It's back to base for us. We're doing what? We're leaving this outpost? Don't question me. You can't hide behind Meyer's skirt out here. You're... you're abandoning us? What do we do? We'll be defenseless. Go arm the survivors. Then we roll. If I were you, I'd give them plenty of weapons. The Renegade sent a whole detachment to the Fisheye. Any other bright ideas, civilian? Uh, just a question. Where can I find Roe? New Dawn Park, like I said. Not sure if they made it yet. You take these to him and tell him I'm on it. <laughs> Better you than me, buddy. Roe's gonna blow his top when he reads these. And I'm here to save lives, not lose mine. Yeah, thanks for the tip. Assholes. We won't stand a chance. I'm really sorry, civilian, but we have orders. You can't leave us. If the renegades come, we'll be dead within a day. Easy there, civilian. We'll arm us. Hey, what's wrong? This. All of this. We're supposed to be protecting people. <sighs> Figures they chicken out. Roided out assholes always have tiny balls. We're supposed to leave defenseless civilians to the Butcher's mercy? I, I put up with a lot of shit because I believe in our mission. But if no one else believes... We should stay. Protect the civilians. Fucking command.